Hey, this is Daryl Smith. Welcome to my weekly marketing tips. Today we're going to talk about the number one secret that you can use to get more traffic to your blog. This is Daryl Smith. Today we're going to talk about uh, one secret that you can use to get more traffic to your blog. Please comment on this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel by hitting the button below. So a blog is a good way to build a following consisting of your target audience and give them uh, great information so that you can later sell to them. Now, it's a great way also to do affiliate marketing and make more money through advertising. But the main issue is that uh, you've created great content and no one is looking at it. That's right, there's no eyes on your content. Therefore, you are unable to accomplish any of your goals. You continue to look at the analytics and stats that accompany your blog and the only person who has looked at your content is you. So, let's talk about how you can get traffic to your blog. This secret will bring thousands of qualified visitors to your blog because there's a social network that you can use that will immediately increase traffic to your blog. Now, you know about this social uh, media site and you're probably not using it. And if you are, you're not using it correctly. Now, that network is LinkedIn. Many people are under the false impression that LinkedIn is a job site for employers and for prospective employees. But there's a way to drive traffic from LinkedIn to your blog. And as a matter of fact, you can drive thousands of people to your blog by following these uh, steps that I'm going to outline for you. So here are the steps that you can use. Number one. Start a blog if you don't already have one. Now you can go to Bluehost to start a blog or any hosting site. Number two, create a LinkedIn profile. Now make sure your profile is set to public. Make sure your profile has a picture of you or some other person. But the important thing is that you need to make sure that your profile has a picture of a person, not one of those uh, stock photos. Uh, no one will connect with you unless you have a profile picture that features a person. You also want to add a header image as well as fill out as many sections of your profile as you can. Because the more you fill out, the more visible your profile will be. Number three, you want to connect with people you know. And you can use LinkedIn to search for people that you have ties to. You can search using email addresses. And LinkedIn will also scan your Gmail account and find your friends and contacts that you are connected to. Number four, you want to join groups related to your blog. That's why right, LinkedIn has groups. Groups are the best way to target people who are related to the subject matter of your blog. In other words, your target audience. And like I always say, your target audience in this case is who can benefit from the topics that you address uh, in your blog. Who can use the content the best? Who exactly are you talking to? Now, five, you want to post your blog post on your LinkedIn status. If you post in groups, make sure you follow the group's rules and that you don't spam. One of the keys to this strategy is make sure that you are not engaging in spam. Number six, you can also use LinkedIn articles to post your blog post as an article. Articles have their own section on LinkedIn and anyone can search articles and find them at any time. And this is one of the strategies that I uh, use with my blog posts. So you create an article and give it the same title as your blog post. And what you do, the key is you include a short excerpt from your blog post, just enough to make someone want to click on uh, the link to your blog so that they can go directly to your blog and see the full uh, article and full content about uh, your blog post subject matter. Now make sure that after the excerpt you include a link to your blog post. That's important because you want people to click through right to your blog. Seven, share the article on LinkedIn which will also get some traffic again to your blog post. Number eight, when somebody likes your post, connect with them. Someone com comments, reply to them, and then connect. Number nine, reciprocate by liking and commenting on their posts. Now, this will also uh, start to increase 
the likes and comments that you receive over time because it's reciprocity. 10, add hashtags the way that you would in Twitter, and that's going to increase your visibility. 11, the title of your blog should be written to increase curiosity and to increase the click-throughs. Now, those 11 steps, if you follow those 11 steps, this will increase your blog traffic over time. Again, create your LinkedIn account. Start uh, writing your blog posts and posting them onto your LinkedIn. Remember that people on LinkedIn actually read the articles. So make sure that your articles and your content is interesting. This is Daryl Smith. That was my weekly marketing tip. Again, please leave me some likes and some comments about this particular video. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Daryl Smith, and I will see you next time in my next weekly marketing tip.